Hello, YouTube. Have you guys noticed how like white people tend to marry white people, black people tend to marry black people, and Indian people tend to marry Indian people? It's because at the root, at the fundamental, unconscious, primitive root, all of us are tribal, dude. All of us are tribal. It's very hard to get over that tribalness. I've gone, I'm pretty good at getting over my tribal, my tribal nature, but I'm still a little tribal. I can't deny that. I love India, man. I love my people. I love my people, dude. So, um, that's all I wanted to say. That's all I wanted to say. And this whole Yogaville thing, honestly, I'm going to, it's, it's just like, it's, it's the inevitable conclusion of a series of synchronistic events leading to my ultimate decision to create the utopian Buddha ashram, dude. I think the ultimate result of what happened between what happened with with me and against me and for me at Yogaville because a lot of things went for me at Yogaville Yogaville as far as as far as people go the people of Yogaville they're B plus people B plus some of them are C's some of them are B minuses but I'll give most of them a B plus average human being uh, <laughs> but but anyways but what I'm saying is I gotta create the Utopian Buddha Ashram at Yogaville because I like Satyananda's energy I like Shivananda's energy and I like the energy there. So I'm gonna create the Utopian Buddha Ashram at Yogaville. And the inevitable conclusion, once all of these original people at Yogaville, you know, like die off, I think it's like my my Utopian Buddha movement is gonna like influence the Yogaville movement. I am willing to let Satyananda have the original ashram. He can have Satyananda ashram at Yogaville. But I refuse, so I guess I can't be the spiritual leader of all of Yogaville, but I'll take half, I'll take half, I'll take half. Actually, I'll probably swallow, see the thing is the ultimate conclusion once I build the Utopian Buddha Ashram at Yogaville, is that I will swallow Yogaville. I will swallow it with my, with my uh, grandeur, dude. With my delusional grandeur to create a better world, dude. I'm gonna swallow Yogaville. I wanna go as big as I absolutely can, dude. I, I, some, people, some people looked at me and they're like, you're gonna be famous. They knew it. And then I was like, wait, 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 wait. And then some people said like, I was like thinking like, what, what do they mean by famous? And some people were like, I, one dude said, I see thousands of people behind your eyes. So that was deep, that was deep. But I was like, thousands? Why should I settle at thousands, man? I want tens of thousands. Hundreds of thousands is my realistic goal. But if I hit millions, dude, I'll be happy. If I hit millions, I don't think I'll ever hit a billion. So I'm, I'm, I'm guessing at the, fame, the level of fame that I'm trying to achieve is hundreds of thousands of people. But if I hit millions, man, that'll be that'll be a that'll be a showstopper right there, right? Like, like let's go, man. Let's see how big I can go. All right, I gotta grow my hair out. I gotta work out, guys. I gotta work out. I gotta get better looking. I gotta get in shape. I gotta get psycho psychologically in shape. I gotta up my reading game. I have to I have to focus right now on the future. Um, minds like yeah, the 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 vision has got to has got to guide me into a positive future where this vision is manifested. All right, I'll see you guys later.